Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, it's that time of year again. It, the holiday season is upon us, and this time we are celebrating Modrinicht. Modrinicht is an ancient holiday. It's a goddess holiday, always has been, and it celebrates the crone aspect of goddess. And this holiday was attested by Bede in the ninth century. So it's very ancient, and we know it's a real holiday because Bede testified in the ninth century. He was a Christian writer, but he, he talked about how on the very night that they celebrate the birth of Jesus on that very night. Uh, the Modrinicht was celebrated by the ancients. And the reason why they celebrated on the same day is because they wanted to cover up, the, cover up the goddess religion. They wanted to cover up the goddess religion with their own religion, which was Christianity. So we're reclaiming our holiday. We're taking back our holiday. It's our holiday season, always was, always will be. It's the goddess. And we're ready to celebrate Modrinicht in style this year. Now, what is Modrinicht and how do we celebrate it? Well, the way we celebrate is the way it was celebrated by the ancient peoples. Now, our, our ancestors, not everybody's ancestors, but the ancestors of the British peoples, which I'm one of, I'm one of the British people. So the British people celebrated it this way. The grandmother of the family, the, the crone, the, the ma matriarch of the family, whoever that was, would give gifts to her grandchildren on Modrinicht. And Modrinicht is December 24th. May sound familiar to you because that's also Christmas Eve. Well, they, like I said, they covered up our religion with their religion. But it was, Modrinicht was, was on December 24th. And December 25th is a new holiday that we celebrate today called Matron's Day. So if you, any of your grandmothers, or even if you're just mothers, give presents to your children on, on Modrinicht and celebrate the crone goddess with your family. And so the crone goddess we believe in, uh, she, is, she is wise and wonderful, and she is in charge of the modern world. And I'd like to read a poem to you. I'm going to read you a poem for Modrinicht. It's a, it's a nice poem. It's kind of short, but it expresses the, the um, essence of the holiday season for us. So I'm about to read this poem to you. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it goes like this. O oh, goddess of terrible countenance, your fierce face sends shivers through me. You, ancient crone that birthed the universe, the wisdom of your eyes I see. Show your fierce face to the evildoer, Blast him with a wintry gale. For our proud goddess loves justice so true. Now the evildoer turns tail. Or now may justice prevail. Either one is fine. The crone sets all the evil men aflight. They all cower from her fierce wrath. But we all love the crone the more for it. Crone of the modern, show our path. For it is she who rules the modern world, crafty crone with wits in her eyes. May goddess rule us all wisely and well. She sends to us her big surprise. Although crone turns a fierce face toward us, the crone's tender mercies are great. So she forgives all her fallen children who have rediscovered her of late. It is even so. 
And I hope you enjoyed that poem. I hope you enjoyed it, and and uh, there will be more poems other years. So stay tuned for more poetry. Uh, I try to read it. So celebrate the crone goddess with your friends and loved ones. Share this video with others. Share it with your friends and family. And have a wonderful Modrinicht. Um, give gifts to your children and also give gifts to your friends and loved ones this year. And uh, um, just enjoy the holiday. Uh, make a holiday, a vegan holiday roast because I always eat vegan on the holidays. Now, I, now that I'm a vegan, I eat vegan all the time. But um, I encourage those who follow goddess to eat vegan on holidays because we want to spare the animals suffering on the holidays. That's a nice thing to do for the animals. So even if you eat meat, eat vegan for the holidays. And uh, I don't have any recipes for you. It's not necessarily an eating holiday. It's not a feast holiday. But... Um, Enjoy the holiday with your friends and family. Maybe bake some cookies that are, or make unbaked cookies. You can make raw cookies or, or rawies for your family. And uh, enjoy, enjoy the holiday. Um, I got this wonderful uh, Fitbit watch as a gift for the holidays. And uh, I've been enjoying it. It's a little difficult. It's kind of buggy, but I've enjoyed it. So uh, you can consider getting a Fitbit of your own. And I'll see you next time.